I'm Mike Dobbins, and I'm a graduate of Full Sail University's Digital Arts and Design program, and I made this. So for my style, I like to draw inspiration from anywhere, mostly nature. Like for example, you can look at a tree and the bark. It's it's beautiful and it has its own little texture and its own thing, but it's not, you know, it's not geometrically perfect, it's not anything. So I like to take textures from everywhere and put them onto my work. Like I can make an apple and if it's just a vector apple, it's just an apple, it's just there. If you put a texture on it or another texture on top of that, it definitely turns into something different and um, pleasing to the eye. One of the pieces of my portfolio is my crayon box. It's for uh, Cray Squared. We were charged with trying to make a crayon packaging, but make it artist inspired and make it like an artist would use it. For one of them, I took a leaf and I made it purple and I surrounded it around the Capitol building and I made a flower out of it. So I just take you know random assets and put them together and make something completely different. My main motivation was just to get weird with it and go crazy and just more have fun and something just out there. The next project in my portfolio was um, my Happy Juice cartons. And I liked how they were very simple, very minimal, and like very vector. And I wanted to do something like that because I'm very used to doing something complicated or out there and I wanted to pull back and do something more minimal. This project was definitely more branching out for me. It was a challenge, but it, it was definitely a fun project to work on and one of my favorites. And for another project in my portfolio, I did Manic Multitude which has pretty much been my child since I've been at Full Sail. Basically what all it is is um, little creatures that I've created over the years and just little sketches. I put them on t-shirts so I could you know, promote my work and give someone something fun to wear. So Glom, he's this little blue guy. He's got one eye and uh, two striped horns. I created him more to be my, um, my spokesperson. Uh, Tsunator, he's also a horned creature, but he's like a bull, but he has he's from like an ice world, so he has ice breath. Some of the monsters don't really have a purpose, it's just they were there and then I created the story afterwards, but they definitely have their own personalities and everything. One of the biggest challenges for me at school was when I lost all my sketches and my um, work files and everything for Manic Multitude, and so I pretty much had to start from scratch. But that definitely helped me become stronger and kind of pushed me to put myself to the next level because I couldn't, I didn't want to go back and just create the same things. I wanted to come back and make something better, make something bigger, make, you know, grow from it instead of just let it defeat me. Sugar Rush is literally made out of candy called Sweetopia that is being invaded by dentists and their legion of vegetables. Ooh.